Audrey here from Real House Moms, and today I'm gonna to share with you my recipe for buffalo chicken pinwheels. Everybody loves a good buffalo chicken wing, <laughs> especially this time of year with football season kicking off. And what we've done is sort of taken those flavors and made them into a new dish. I'm really happy with it, and I know you're gonna love it. What you're gonna to need today is eight ounces of whipped cream cheese, room temperature, four ounces of blue cheese crumbles, half a cup of buffalo sauce, and three cups of cooked chicken that's been shredded. If you don't have any leftover chicken in the fridge, just pick up a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. We're also gonna use about four to six burrito-sized tortillas, so this big size here, they're flour. And then we are going to get started. So, pretty simple. Let's grab a couple bowls here. The first we're gonna make is the cream cheese spread that we're gonna put on the tortilla first. So you've got your room temperature cream cheese and you're gonna combine that with your blue cheese crumbles. I kind of like to break them up a little bit as I put them in just so you don't end up with any big, big chunks. To be honest, it's not that bad from a flavor standpoint. If you get those in there, it just makes it spreading a little bit difficult. Of course, now I have monster cheese hands. All right. So we'll get that in there. <laughs> we'll go ahead and mix this up. So you just kind of push it together, mix it all around. And make it so that it's spreadable and the flavor is spread out evenly as far as the blue cheese into the cream cheese. All right, so we've got that mixed up. The second step is just to toss our chicken with our buffalo sauce. Pretty simple. So we're gonna pour the sauce straight over and then we'll just use a fork to toss that around. Make sure that all the chicken pieces are coated in your buffalo sauce. Okay, so we've got that. Now, you're gonna take one of your burrito uh, tortillas and you're gonna spread out the cream cheese mixture and you wanna go all the way to the edge. And you're gonna end up rolling this up and microwaving it, microwaving it. You're gonna end up refrigerating it for about one to two hours, so everything sort of gets firm and it gets a little easier to cut. And that's part of what makes this such an amazing dish for entertaining. It's perfect for a potluck. It's perfect for entertaining during football season. It's great for any gathering that you have because you can make it the day before and it's actually best if you do. So, whoop. We've got our cream cheese mixture spread out all the way around. And then you're gonna take some of your chicken and you're gonna get messy. You're gonna spread that all over the top of that cream cheese mixture. So you get it all spread and even. There you go. And then we're gonna roll it up. All right. So you would do that with the remaining ingredients and you put that in the fridge seam side down so that it can get solid and firm for you. We've got some already set up for you. So we'll just grab those and cut away so that you can see what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna cut the end, if you notice the chicken, everything sort of, when you wrap it up and it gets pinwheely, the ends get a little flat. Just cut the ends off and snack on them while you cook. And then you're gonna slice in about half inch thick pieces. And then you lay them out. It's pretty simple. They're really fantastic and one of my favorite ways to entertain. 
I used to work at a company that would have millions of potlucks a year. It was a crazy amount of potluck. The joke was that when you started working there, you gained 10 to 15 pounds sitting at your computer eating all this yummy potluck food that came in. So I got pretty familiar with what's popular at potlucks. And pinwheels are definitely one that would go fast. I like to use a serrated knife when I'm cut cutting these up. Makes it so much easier to get through them. And last one. So you can see just how crazy simple this is. All right. Pop those guys on. And then one left for me. Mm. It's all the flavors of a really good buffalo chicken wing, but it's all made ahead and creamy and amazing. Definitely give these a shot. You could even dice up some celery, toss that in with the blue cheese, cream cheese mixture and add a little bit of crunch to it. That would be really good too. Anyway, for this recipe, make sure you head over to realhousemoms.com. And for other recipes, make sure you check out Facebook and YouTube for our channel. Have a great day guys, bye.